Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Today we're going to talk about a part of worship that is a vital part of our relationship with Christ. It's called communion because we commune with God and other believers. It's called the Lord's Supper because it commemorates the Passover meal Jesus ate with his disciples. The Eucharist, which means Thanksgiving, because we give thanks for the work Jesus did for us on the cross. Jesus gives us instruction on communion in Matthew 26, 26 through 29. And if you have your Bibles, read along with me. Now as they were eating, Jesus took the bread and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my, the, my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink again of this fruit of the, of the vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. The bread and the cup are representations of Jesus' body and blood. They help us celebrate deliverance from sin by Christ's death. Paul restates what Jesus said in the passage in Matthew in 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 25. Go ahead and turn over to that with me. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night that he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body for which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. We need to understand that as we partake in communion, we are acknowledging the fact that Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection are the essence of the new covenant. That Jesus going to the cross is the ultimate sacrifice. We no longer have to sacrifice animals as the Old Testament Jews did. He's the ultimate sacrifice Believing in, accepting, and confessing Jesus as your Lord and Savior solidifies your place under the new covenant. The thing I believe we should remember when we take communion is that Jesus told us that he would not drink again of this, the fruit of the vine until the day when he drank it new in his Father's kingdom. He's talking about the feast we'll have with him in heaven. So as we take communion, do it with reverence, remembrance, and rejoicing that Jesus is the new covenant poured out for our sin. I hope this encourages and challenges you. Have a blessed day, Calvary.